Hello, hello, hello. This is Angela. And we are back to work on a cover for our journal. And we're going to start by first gluing this flap shut. We're going to make a one signature journal. And, and we're going to discover that the glue doesn't work. So put that pin back in and give it a poke. Right now I'm standing up because I have an ironing board up here on my art desk. And my glue is being cantankerous so it has a catch in it. Which means it's kind of got a plugged up nose. Basically. So let's fold that over. And underneath here I have a piece of fabric that looks like this. But I have put um, Wonder Under interfacing on it and I've ironed it on. And now we're going to peel that off and iron it to the top of our journal. Now I probably better get my Oh boy, maybe it's not going to work. There it goes. I had probably better get my mat that is uh, sticky free. So let me come over here and get that. Oh, I have several of them. Whoops. Time to clean my art room. Things are falling. Um, well, we'll have to use this one. This is a great big one. But I'm just going to hopefully get the right side of it. Does it matter? Don't know. We're going to find out. Um, the reason I have to put this down is because some of my wonder under sticks out the sides. And so what we're going to do is hopefully start this at a good place. And be able to line it up on Uh, one of the lines on the fabric. Because it's a stripe, we want it going properly. Just about like that. So I'm just going to start with this piece right here. And I want to iron it down. on this edge. Hopefully, yeah, that looks good. Now I don't want to iron, get any of this wonder under on my iron. So I'm just getting to the edge there. You only have to press it down five to eight seconds. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to start on this side and work my way over. But I don't want to get over here before it's time. Let me ring you out a little bit. Sorry about that. So I'm just going to start over here.
So you can see that the little white mat under here is going to catch any of the sticky stuff that's going to come off on the side. My ironing board has a bit of a curve in it. So it's a little bit uneven. Okay, now I want to turn this over and I have all this that didn't stick right so I'm hoping to just kind of tuck it in there and hope it will cover properly. I probably should have cut this little piece out here so that I could fold this all in, but I didn't. Um, my thought originally was that I was just going to sew around the whole thing. And I think it's probably still going to be like that. But let's go ahead and this is a dry iron, by the way. You don't want to use a, a wet iron with the wonder under. Now this may not stick because I've already um, ironed it down once on this mat. If it sticks, good. And I will have to figure out those corners. We'll, we'll just glue those down, of course. Okay, so so far that is our journal cover. Now I'm going to go ahead and iron in that spine just to give it a nice good crease because we'll reinforce the spine on the inside here. Okay, let me unplug my iron and move this great big thing. Oh, there's something inside. Directions to something. Oh boy. Um, my understanding these mats can be cut down. That seemed to work okay. Um, okay, put my iron over here by my other sewing machine, pick up that giant paper on the floor, and hi, how are you? Welcome back to Dogwood Paper Arts. We were in the middle of something there and I just couldn't quit. So. I think what I'm going to do here is cut these corners off so that it's less bulk right here for, no, for the first place. I have my sewing scissors here. And I'm just going to cut right up to the corner. Um, that looks bad, I know, but it's going to be hidden by paper. 
There we go. So there's one. There's two. Three. We're going to put glue in there. Four. And we're going to put, yes, you guessed it, Fabri-Tac on the inside here. And I want to pull that in and I want to probably hold it down for a little bit or find a clip. Excuse my head as I put it in the video. Now I know I've put Fabri-Tac in there. Yes, we have a towel. Okay, so there's that one. There we go. Okay, let's come over here to this one. I'll probably cut that one a little bit too close. But I'm going to try and just clip it to get it to lay down. My grandson made his first YouTube video and is all signed up now. He calls himself Professor Laszlo. And today he did his first video on oranges. Uh, the science of oranges, he said. I think it was science. He's a little boy that doesn't like to eat, but he wanted to do videos on eating. And I guess he maybe thinks that will help him to get better at it. That's what I'm kind of thinking. So anyway, it was really, really cute. Really cute. I was so thrilled. Okay, we have one more. Okay, so now we're going to let this dry completely and then um, when we come back we'll have signatures maybe ready to sew into them. I don't know. Let's uh, see what we can do. And 
like I said, I, I do plan to sew all the way around this, but I have to glue these corners because of how I sewed them. So I'll just have to go slow over the, the glue areas or try to miss them completely. Okay, and I did bring my machine over and I want to start my timer. Okay, so there is going to be our cover. Now I might as well show you what is going to be the front. It's going to be this one. This is a 12 by 12. It is Chow Bella. And this will be the back. Oh, hang on. Okay, I am back. And we are work going to be working with the uh, 12 by 12 scrapbook papers by Chow Bella. This is called The Sound of Spring. And so we might as well go ahead and open this. I have two packages, so I want to make several um, scrapbooks. I need to make some more covers. And I want to first see how this one works out. I really liked being able to um, just iron that. That was very nice. Now I'm considering, I have paper left, I'm considering just ironing this on the inside as well. I'm not going to hem it or anything, but I think that that would look really nice on the inside. And I have enough of it to do that. So here's the paper pad by Chow Bella, The Sound of Spring. Wouldn't this make a nice journaling card? Not that big, but you could cut it into two pieces here and here. Put a little something down there to cover that. But here's the first paper. Look at how beautiful it is. I mean, it's just stunning with the floral arrangement through it. And it's just br very, very brilliantly pretty. And here's this one. It's just beautiful. And I'm recording, and you can hear me. Okay, those are good. I love the back of this one, too. Two of my favorites, sheets of music and text. Like old letters. This one says, soul dreaming. Here's some birds taking flight in the background. and um, this is all like a crackle look here and some roses. Just beautiful. Really a um, little grungy here and, and soulful over here. Just absolutely beautiful. Let me flip these over. This one says falling in love. Look at this. A little brick wall back there and uh, some spots of where it looks like water's been dropped on it and a little stucco texture in the background and some little birds and the back is very much the same as the front except for the birds are not back here it says anyone who keeps the ability to see beauty never grows old Now, I cannot read this one, I'm sorry to say. I'll have to look it up and let you know what it says, but beautiful butterfly, just beautiful images, numbers in the background, and then this very damask tablecloth look here. The sound of the butterfly is the music of spring training. Be you. Isn't that beautiful? Look at those poppies. In the back. 
and this one. Now, this really has the look of, sorry about all the glue on my fingers and ink and um, this one really has the look of um, flowers that have been painted in with a palette knife. They're very sculpted looking. You know, it's flat, but they look very 3D actually. And the back, nice, grungy, beautiful look. Isn't that fun? It has this one page of um, tags and journaling cards. I love that. And on the back it's pink. And this it says just love. And I, I love how it has the sewing through it and this kind of a etching, sketching around the edges. And look at how this pinky red comes in. Of course you know me and pinky red. Look at this one. It's like a wood, but it's just brilliant. It's beautiful. Oh, and I love irises, and this page is just so yummy. These also look like they're you painted in with a palette knife. Just beautiful. And then you come up here and look at this pretty purple and um, mauve color up here. Very grungy and, and uh, rich and kind of romantic feeling to me. And uh, this is very down home and earthy feeling to me. Um, colors that, that, that I remember in my grandmother's house, uh, my grandma Wilson. Just real, that green and just beautiful and she had some irises around her place too it's just I love to walk over there because there were so many oh and look at the back it's kind of like all different kinds of wallpaper sewing together like a quilt very pretty oh look look Kathy are you out there Look, Kathy. It's a kitty. Isn't it cute? My dear cousin Kathy, she loves kitties. I do too. They're fun. This kitty's doing what my Luigi likes to do, and that's watching the bird. Just in case the bird lands close enough to the door that he might be able to figure out how to get through the glass and get it because we have indoor kitties. Look at these beautiful um, flowers here though, just kind of sketched in and then like a watercolor flower. And same way up here with this in the background, it's all kind of watercolory. And the kitty too. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, oh. Gosh, this one is yummy, yummy too. And you can see here more of the palette knife strokes. And that really kind of runs throughout this whole paper pack. This one is, and look at, here's the stitching around the edges. Isn't that cool? And here, oh, some more like a watercolor flowers. Um, some more um, palette knife strokes in there and palette knife flowers over here and more of the birds flying and kind of a wallpaper look back there and there's like a quilt looks like a quilt block almost and this page oh this one just makes my heart sing it is um, it's just romantic and, and, um, it's inspiring. It's inspiring for this journal too. Uh, I think it'll go really well. So, 
what I started off with, let me put these back here. Oops, not on the, not their inch. No, no, no. Um, that's going to be the cover, so let me set it aside. And let's see here. I got a, I got a pile of stuff. Here's my extra pieces already. That goes with my wonder under. Okay, so this one here is going to be on the cover, and this is going to be on the back. I guess I, oh no, this is the cover. This is the inside page. The, sorry. I am so sorry. So we have an inside page, and our cover on this one is pink. So I'm wondering, it's, I'm hoping to just keep it as a one signature journal. Um, I, I want to start it with this pink because I'm thinking about putting the pink on the inside. But it could be blue with this one too. I think we'll go with maybe this one next. Um, don't really want to cut the bird off and I don't want to cut the cat so I'm going to have to lose one of them. I guess it's going to have to be the bird. But that doesn't mean we can't kind of cut him out and place him back in here with this cat to look at. So I am cutting these at um, Eight and seven sixteenths, eight and a half inches. So eight and seven sixteenths to eight and a half. So let's cut this page at eight and a half and we will save this top part because we can make a mini book out of it or we can make a post, um, 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 um a journaling card. Not a postcard, but a journaling card. Okay, eight and a half, right there. Oh, perfect journaling card for that page, isn't it? And now we are going to, um, I think I had to cut this down to 11, eight and a half by 11. So we know it's going to cut down a little bit. And we don't want to cut the kitty, so we're going to... Cut it down on this side. And we're not really going to miss anything there because... You know, it was, it was just the painting part there. I'm going to move that stuff out of my way. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Whoops. Stuff is falling off the counter. That's bizarre. Bizarre, bizarre, bizarre. You don't think I have a ghost. <laughs> Haven't had. Although there was a time when we had some family pictures up on the wall and I wondered a little bit about those pictures. Okay. So like this or should it be more like this? We'll probably have coffee dyed papers in between them. Oh, isn't that cute though? That would be a cute center page, wouldn't it? I kind of like those going together, but like I said, we are going to have coffee dyed papers in there. So there is 
Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So if I can get four in there, that would be good. Oh, I love this one. I do wish that it had some of the flowers on this side, though. So now this one, we need 11 inches by eight and a half. Let's take this page and just take a peek at it. Now we probably want the soul dreaming on here and we probably want that flower. So it looks to me like right about there. I'm going to have to pull that out again. Eight and a half. I think we can go up just slightly more. Right there. And now we'll take it down to eight and a half. And then we need to go 11. So we can either go all the way over or we can take a little here and a little here. Let's start over here and we'll take a little off of this side. I think we'll take most of it off on this side. I think we will take it all off on that side. That'll put the flower a little closer to the edge of the paper. And let's see, we want one more. Should we go with Just Love because it has this paper on the back? Why not? I love that top part. So if I go eight and a half here, it cuts that off. Oh, I don't want to lose the top part though. But we're going to have to lose some of it, aren't we? There's nine. Yeah. Eight and a half is right there at the bottom. Okay, let's see. Eight and a half. And then eleven. I think I have two packs of paper, so if I go with, let's see, is it going to be four or five? One, two, one, two, three, four, five. And we do have this one, which we can cover that part and still have this one. So we do have that. Oh, and you can't forget we have the the front cover. So we actually have two more, three more. Let's start with four and we'll put our, um, we'll put some paper in it and we'll see what we have. So we have one, two,
There's three. And that is four. Do we want that inside? I think we want this on the inside. Or on the outside, I mean. We want this on the inside. I think I want Kitty here. Maybe this one should go with this one. Okay, let's see. I love that for the center. So we have four papers. Um, four. And if we put four papers between each one, four, eight, twelve, that would give us sixteen total pages. Plus, we might stick something in between, like an envelope or something like that. So I'm going to pull out the papers by, can you guess? By Triple V Vintage, Elegance Leg Lace, Etsy.com shop, Triple V Vintage. Got to turn that a little bit so I can see it better. There we go. And we're not going to use that one yet. So let's start. We know we have eight and a half. Now I'm not sure I'm going to cut any of these pages off this time. We'll just wait and see what it looks like. I want to add, you know, you know, I like to add lace and stuff. I love when you fold this together and you get that design. Isn't that cool? She sure did a beautiful job on these papers. This one, I'm going to fold this way. And this one is also going to go that way. So we have that. And that. And those two. And then we have this. Now let's go to here. And we'll put four more in. One. Three. 
Poor. Missed that one. <laughs> Let's try that again. Let's see. I need some more of her paper here. Oh, how pretty. Oh, you open it up and it smells so good. <laughs> Yum. I want coffee. It smells so good when I got in paper yesterday. I finally had to go get coffee. <laughs> Am I off camera? <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys make me stop that. Oops, these gotta go the other way. So I think I want like this, like this. Okay. See, I think that is okay. I don't think I always need to trim them off. It's mommy. Come here. She thought uh, somebody was knocking on the door. It was me knocking on this table. <laughs> I don't think I need to cut them all off. I think it's okay this way. I mean, gosh, I hate to lose those edges of the paper and stuff. So I think I'm going to leave them this time. I think I like that more uh, shabby feel of that. What do you think? Oh, mowing out front. Yeah, you can hear it. <laughs> Sorry about that. It is a mowing day. So we'll, we'll let him mow. Um, I have these papers. know if they would work. Would have to do something on the back. Let me just fold it and let's take a look at it. It's not going to go in the center. But I think we could do just bear with me while I think I think let's see let's take a look at the ones we have I think this one would go oh that would too okay so we're gonna fold this one in half like this. 
I hope that lines it up. And then, oh no, it didn't. Look at that, it's crooked. We don't want that. Nope, nope, nope. Let's get this. I was evening up these. That's not possible. That is not possible, Angela. Just not possible. Okay, so if that's at six, then this has to be at six. There to about there. Yep, it's between the blue dots. Okay. So then it has to go along there. That gives us that. And then eight and a half. Okay, so if I took this up to here, it doesn't have to be eight and a half, right? Okay, so let's, it can be smaller. I don't know if we're going to use this. We're just looking at it right now. Okay, four. this will work. Okay, that's four. So I'm looking at this line here. Four is too small. But what if we went here? Four would make the envelope just that page too small. Okay, so this could actually come around to this side, like this. Um, definitely would have to be V-cut here. If I wreck this paper, you'll just have to forgive me. But I'm not I'm not too concerned about it. It's just paper I've had a very long time. Sorry, Luigi, your tower is taken. Well, that would have to be cut a little more. But it would give a little side tuck there. I think I like the straight pocket better. But if that worked, I mean, it would give a little side tuck here, right? Time is almost up today. Ugh, that's still not straight, but we can always straighten it with a piece of paper or lace. That would give this on one side. Like this. This would not be the center. Oh, it's still not folded properly. Well, I can't seem to fold, so... <laughs> I 
Oh my goodness, Ange. There we go. Well, I'm not so sure I like it. I think it's too foo-foo for this uh, more romantic shabby chic. Um, maybe in a kid journal. So that won't work. Okay, we know that now. Put those back. Now, what else do I have that might be pretty? Oh, no, wrong color. Elegant, elegant, elegant. Extremely elegant. Leather. Leather. Ooh, elegant. A lot of elegant papers. Yeah. Have a lot of those. Um, I don't want to use those. I think that's more young. Boy, I tell you what. I have things to clean up. And eventually, it's just going to have to happen. Now, if I had more of that, that would work. But I think I've used it all now. Yeah, I have a lot of the really white. Let's see, maybe I'll put some in here. Nope. Hard to say where I put it. Oh, goodness. Okay, so I only have one of those. So that will not work. Um. What else could we use? I guess I need to print out some uh, um, Oh I wonder if I have any pretty pink pages That's more nature Here's a bridge score pad. Could we use that? Here's a guest check. like the pink with it. Okay. And then on this side we could glue so that it would be a little tuck. And on this side, well, I was thinking we could make it a pocket under here. might end up making that into a thing. Or we could just take that piece off and that piece, since it's going to break off anyway. And then just put it in like this. And we have this bridge score pad. So let's see, that one went there. This one could go here. Right 
here we need something. Um, let's see what we have in here. Pull the stuff out of the drawer, Ange. Oh gosh, look, a recipe card. We could have used those in our recipe book. There's another one. Ooh, there's a very pretty piece of paper. There's a very pretty piece. That's heavy, heavy cardstock there. Um, we have those. Oh, we have that. Oh, look. We have one of these, a weekly time record. And we also have one of these, accounts payable. I wonder if we could I don't know do you think that would cause heartache that page to somebody you know because it's talks about money okay so there's that one and here is this one and then here is this one oh okay well our time is up for today um, let's take a quick look at the cover and see how it's going yeah looks good I think we made it This is going to go like that. Oh, look at that. It still fits perfect. See that? We don't need to trim it off. You know, that's a big discovery for me because I assume that they needed to be just cut off straight, but they don't. This feel is really good. I love the look of the papers peeking out on that, you know, edge there. I think that that is very very pretty um and there will be some foo-foo lace you know type stuff in there we'll have a few more things to put in it but we'll start that tomorrow and um i do think i want to sew around these and i know i want to sew around this so tomorrow will probably be a sewing day so i hope you'll come back and join me this has been a lot of fun getting back to a journal oh i've missed it i've missed it i've missed it and then um, we'll talk about the front covers tomorrow, whether or not we want to utilize this stuff in here. I mean, I have, I have enough, definitely. I think, is this, will this cover? Or do I have to go, oh, it won't cover. I would have to go sideways with it. So we might put a different one on the inside, but I already have. Um, the thermal lamb or thermal web in there but isn't that going to be beautiful that is really going to be pretty and then we have our cover of course it's going to be this it's cut off right there like right about there so that'll be very pretty. So this is just going to be a rather quick journal and I would like to make a couple of them. I'm going to make them each a little bit different. Um, but they'll be, um, they'll just be quick and I, I love the idea and I love using this thermoweb in here. I think that was um, a good choice. It's a beautifully soft cover without all the, I should have put something crinkly inside. Okay, I gotta let you go. Uh, thanks for joining me today. I hope you'll come back tomorrow so that we can work on our journal together. I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs>